Today, it's a travel day. Woo, woo our first train travel day. We're taking a train from London to Scotland. <laughs> Subscribe to follow along. So since we last left you in Guildford, we've actually been here in London staying at Lindsay's house, seeing Amy again, and really being social. We did go on a hike with yes, Lindsay and we went Sony. To the Seven Sisters, which was absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's sprinting, he's sprinting! Nicely done! We also went to some museums yesterday, which we were thinking about filming, but we realized there's not too much to film in museums. Yeah, but museums don't make the best vlog tip, content. If you are in England slash in London, all yes. the museums are free. So definitely make some time to go to museums because they're very beautiful. We loved the British Museum. The Natural History Museum was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I like the history of like human evolution, history of the world and rocks, but I'm into rocks and minerals and stuff <laughs> and volcanoes and earthquakes. But the British Museum was incredible. It had so many cool artifacts from Turkey and all these different civilizations. Keith could go on for hours about the museums. So now we're taking a train and hopefully we're going to King's Crossing. So first we have to get there and then we're taking a four hour train to Scotland. It's a bit of a rainy day. But I think that's perfect for a, a day to Scotland. Here we go. We're just talking and next thing you know the train's here. So now we're on here till King's Crossing, which we left early because it might take us a bit to find our platform, but also because if we have time, I'm totally gonna go see platform nine and three quarters. Yeah, that's a thing. Well, we made it to King's Cross, but no. that was a two. Yeah, but we're still not at King's Cross. Oh, right, we're at St. Right, so we're at Saint, uh... something. That's right okay, I mean. so we, we gotta to leave and actually King's. go to King's Cross. <laughs> Right, so that was called St. Pancras International. And now we gotta go to King's Cross. Wow, this is beautiful. It's very, like, prettiest train station we've Alright, we still have an hour. But we before we paper. settle down and get coffee, uh, let's figure out where we go. So we found our train, but because we're early enough, the platform's actually not there yet, so we'll come back and check. But that means we have time to find platform nine and three quarters. Found, found it. it, but there's a huge line, so I don't know if we'll wait in line to actually go touch it. But we saw it. I'm happy I saw it. I kind of knew it wasn't going to be, I was told there'd be a line too, but I'm really happy I saw it. Because you know, it's Harry Potter. Yeah, it's cool. And there's also a store right beside it called Harry Potter platform nine and three quarters. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. And they sell all the Harry Potter paraphernalia. We love Harry Potter. Well, I do. I'm getting Keith on the train. He's on the Harry Potter. Train. I'm on the train. So I'm also Speaking of which, to take a train to Scotland because the bridge that's in Harry Potter is in actually Scotland. I don't think we're gonna go on it, but still, yeah, like pretty much we're so. going to Hogwarts. But I'm excited for the for the views <laughs> we'll get to see. We have about half an hour, forty minutes. So nap time. Chill time. Coffee. Maybe coffee time. I mean maybe. <laughs> Maybe? Update, we got another coffee. I got another one because I'm tired, I gotta edit. Yes, no, and we still don't know what platform we're at, so we can just jump. Time to go check Harry Potter World out. Okay, so I will say it was really cute. It had a bunch of Harry Potter uh, paraphernalia in it. It was just a store, but would recommend going there if you're here and like Harry Potter. Nerd. <laughs> okay, update. Just checked our platform is up and conveniently right there. Platform 10. Let's go sit on the train and relax. And, and train through, yeah, the UK, the new country. So the hands are full, so the camera's gonna go away. <laughs> So we made it through and we just want to say the systems for transportation here in London are incredible. Like we've been going on subways and buses and trams and trains all of them. and they've all been super easy and nice and we're noobs as you know so that's pretty good. <laughs> this is the nicest train I've ever been on. 
<laughs> I'm actually so excited to be on a train. We swap seats. Because I'm going to edit and Keith's going to maybe film some windows. But then we might switch later. This is so easy. This whole process was so easy. Definitely worth the train ride. I'm reiterating the fact that the transportation here in London is like crazy nice and good. <laughs> We're moving. All right, some information about the train. We booked this using the train line app, which was recommended to us, just like the city mapper was recommended to us by the locals. It's called the Lumo Trains. It's new, and it competes with the Elner as well, which goes to Scotland, and it's a cheap budget train line, but it also competes with airlines. It feels like an airline. There's a attendant to help you out, some compartments above to put your luggage, put the small bags under your seat. There's a foldable table, a reading light, lines, jacket hooks, it's a wall plug, and two USB ports. So this was 44 pounds each, and uh, I think this is pretty cool. It's pretty worth it. Way, they're cheaper than flying by far. Yeah, way cheaper than flying. So, cool. Apparently this is, uh, this is the new train to catch the Lumo. This is the bathroom. The bathroom works. Small, compact. Water, soap, and dryer. Sort of as good as, as good as it gets, I think. Decent. Sandwich number two time. I made an excellent sandwich. Got some sourdough. Wow, it is so good. I just finished editing another video, so I'm gonna eat my lunch now too, and Keith is now gonna look over the video. So <laughs> I was napping. Productive train by so productive. I needed that though. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll work on it with my sandwich. Beautiful. And the English countryside is just so nice. It's just so nice. We just passed a town called Berwick upon Tweed, and that marks the beginning of yeah. Scotland. And we're literally training along the coast, and it's gorgeous. Sure is. Sheep. And rolling hills and dark, dark grey clouds, but like in a in a serious way, like a Scottish way. And just as I said that, Devon, it's raining now in Scotland. It might be raining for the next few days, but it'll be good. It'll be peaceful, very Scottish. It's sunny again. Behind us is gray. Here it's sunny. We're just pulling into Embra. That's right. Embra. 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 Now I'm by quickly. I'm by pretty quickly. Very good train ride. Mm -hmm. Very nice. The last part there in Scotland, yeah. along the edge of the of the coast, the railway is like I don't know, 80 meters from the water. It's beautiful. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. The train's right on time, actually a minute early. Very impressive. One minute early. Wow, they're by the minute. Off to our next new place! Woohoo! So we forgot to mention as well that we are going to Scotland because we have family and friends that we are so excited to see! Oh my, <laughs> She's oh my goodness! Hello! Welcome to Edinburgh, so nice guys! Out the window. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Love Canada. <laughs> the lady didn't give it to me with the lid on, and I smelt it all. This is Devin's. Uh, this is like your liquid soaking sleeve. Whenever you want to soak up liquids, you use those sleeves. You dip them in. I don't see if you do it on purpose. You do it on purpose? No. Don't run into the thing. Oh man, I almost did. Cool. What's that for? Probably when it's night time, which we're only in this room till 4.30. I gotta step aside it for four hours.